hey guys welcome back to the channel thank each and every one of y'all for clicking on the video well we are ready for another hot day it's supposed to be about 99 98 supposedly is what they say um we got a lot of stuff done yesterday we plan on getting a bunch of stuff done today and hopefully this evening we can go live and kind of share some things with y'all um like i say right now is we've been going through and cleaning each spot out that these goats go through and uh, i know a lot of this stuff is repetitive things that you've seen in videos but here's the deal i mean we're just documenting our everyday life so some of it is going to be we try to change it up from time to time um, we're going to try to clean up around the pond that is the pond dam over there and um, do some other things today as long as it don't get extremely hot at but least I, we won't be having to chase a cow yeah at least we won't be chasing the cow we rescued the cow from the property's place uh, we rescued the cow from the uh, next door uh, neighbor property Hopefully he's still over here. We haven't seen him, so we'll probably walk down there and see. He's probably up against the fence over there with them. But I will say one thing that we've been uh, missing out on, and I got home last night, and the chiggers have completely ate my legs up, um, which I've got long socks on today. But, I mean, they have just – they've ate all of us up. So we went and got us some backwoods sportsmanship, deep woods um Rock. spray um this is off we're going to give it a shot we usually um we usually um use the kids stuff you know so it doesn't hurt their skin or whatever we have no choice we have to change it um we're all getting eat up by chiggers and we're getting tons of ticks on us i pulled three or four off last night leighton had a couple of them on him and um it's just we got to do something that way we don't get no infections and stuff so we're going to spray the kids down i'm going to spray my legs real quick and then we're going to get this party started Daddy, can i do it for you no here close your eyes well which way is the wind blowing we're really going uh, for the legs and i'm going to get my pants real good and if y'all think, if y'all know of something else better for chiggers and ticks, please leave it in the comment box. Um, they're still getting, um, yeah, see, there's a bunch of them down there on the side. Good Lord, I didn't realize it was that bad. They're probably still embedded in there. I don't know much about them, but... Yeah, you kind of see all those those chiggers and they're all along the the fence line or the the sock line but i'm gonna go ahead and spray them real good the way was all right come here little girl oh, turn around these kids they sit down and they get them other places too so, you probably know what I'm talking about. Who was that, Leighton? No, it was Casey. Yeah, well, more. Anyways, you've seen in the video we posted last that I was over there working and the bees got me. Well, he, it, it did. It swole my daggum finger up now. Right there? No, it's back here. You can see how this, Your this is. Your purple. Big. Yeah. He got me right there on the side. What? That bee did. You kind of see how it's swollen. It's got no, fever in it. But I brought some Benadryl just in case I need to take it. I just don't like taking Benadryl because it makes me sleepy. So I'm going to go over here and see if the bees are gone. Hey, there's bees. Y'all go with Addison. Yeah. Right in there. You see him though? Yeah, I see one flying around. Come get this hose. Wait, you do your job.
Bays. guys so I just threw some uh, gas over there trying to get rid of these guys debating whether or not to light it not for sure yet see how it's spreading Mm-hmm. It's getting bigger fast. On your shoe. Oh, that might have been a bad idea. You want the skater aid? Huh? That stepping on it with hay is just going to... What can I do? Go get the ice chest. It's coming this way. Just keep them coming. We're okay. We're okay. Keep them coming. Hurry, Layton. Start running water over by the fence line. I'll start moving the rear one fence and turn. You'll be in hopes no more water. Water. Oh, it's getting big, Brandon. Basically, move the fencing. Hey, y'all can pull me through. Oh, move, guys. Thank <laughs> you. 
Yeah, I did something really, really silly there. I thought I was gonna try to burn the bees out. Well, that was a, a bad idea. I was just gonna test it, just lit a little bit. That would have been on me. Luckily, we got it stopped, so. All right, guys, Bryson showed up and he offered to bring a truck up, but luckily we, we already had it out. Um, that was pure D stupidity on my part. I will take ownership of that. I shouldn't uh and Steph told me she was like, no, I was like, well, I'm gonna test it out right over here. And uh that test it ended really quick and turned into something. But when it hit this tall grass is what scared me. It, it flaked up and I was afraid it was gonna get down in there, luckily. Um with all the kids, and uh that's one th good thing about having kids, uh four four kids. We we got our own little fire crew. And uh, they're doing a really good job. Me and Steph's taking a break. Kids are still going back and getting uh, hot spots there. So um, we definitely got lucky here. A drink. Thank you. I'm welcome. I drank some. That was hot. It's going slow. Yeah. Yeah, my when I was yeah. I know the three right now and one behind. Yeah. Yeah. I chop on. Well, them them hogs are kind of crazy. They shouldn't have went over there. Look at them. They're getting stung right now. All right, guys. So we're back on the tractor, and it was beeping, and it had some noise going on here. On the, the dashboard, which I got to look in and started watching some YouTube uh, videos. Basically, what it's showing is that the tractor needs to regen, and uh, we're actually doing that right now. So, once it gets done regening, it'll reset everything, 
I'm here, look at me, I'm talking like I know what I'm talking about. But, uh, yeah, it's been awesome to learn how. It's been awesome to learn how to actually operate um, this Kubota, which uh, Marie and Williams had, had it for a good while. Um, all the, I think uh, I was talking to Marie and them, they actually purchased all their stuff at uh, Kubota in Ada. And it, it's not a Great Plains, but um, that's where Great Plains get their equipment. You can also rent your equipment there at Kubota in Ada, Oklahoma. So, uh, there's some other uh, tools and stuff that we're going to be using here, going up there to get here before too long. Um, like I said, we're not sponsored by them, but I'm just thankful that uh, William and Marie allows us to use this tractor. And uh, it's helped us out tremendously, uh, fixing the property and getting everything ready. So it's regenerating, so hopefully it don't take too much longer, and then we'll get started. Hey guys, as you can hear, the acceleration went down. Um, so basically I just looked up there all the lights are off and I'll show you the lights I'm talking about here in just a second and what 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 had to do is regen and I'll tell you the proper steps you have to take because it took me a little bit to find it but I was able to find a good video on YouTube so I will kind of walk you through the steps that I learned uh, it took about 10 minutes and other than that is good to go so step up here and Basically what it's doing is cleaning the, the gas filter, uh, fuel filter. So um, anyway, I'll show what happened. So as you see, all the lights are off now. As you see, all the lights are off. So I'm gonna go ahead and kill it. And when I turn the lights back on, I'm gonna pause it right there. So these three lights were, were on and um, it was also beeping. So basically what i found out after re doing research that it needed to be regen and it's a lot better if you regen it yourself because if you have to take it into the shop it's not covered under warranty and it's going to get in your pocketbook so basically what what you do is go ahead and put everything in neutral first you want to put your your parking brake on which it's already on you want to put your gear shift in neutral you also want to put your front and forward in neutral i went ahead and put this in neutral as well and you're going to put your hydraulic boom all the way down once you have all those things in place you will then um you can you can actually idle this up a little bit and you can start it so once it starts so so once you start it there this light will immediately come on so when that light comes on you want to go ahead and push it in and that's going to start your regen process so if this is not actually flashing go ahead and kick this on it'll turn it on and if you hit it again it'll turn it off and then that light should come on um like i say is basically it means from what i'm understanding is you got dirt in the filter or something like that um after watching the video the gentleman looked like he worked for kubota or something so like he said they're not under warranty so this will be definitely take the time and do it if not you have to take it into the shop and spend some money so now we're going to go ahead and get to work Right here because then you can get it all. Yeah, I'll get it all right here, son. Let's see, all right, guys. So, um, we've already filled up the uh, water troughs and stuff, which we knew was going to have some extra because we just really needed to get the water trough the one that we used for the fire. Um, which the extra water will be okay. We're putting it on um, Harley's grave. To let the dirt go ahead and settle in, um, and that way we can kind of smooth it over. We did all that up there last night, and you can tell it did a, a big difference. They're swarming that trailer. Yo. Wasn't smart, was it? Yeah. Looks like Brandon went back for round two. 
he just kept the hose on and just drug it right over to where the bees have their nest in the ground and there's wasps flying everywhere so I'm backing up we'll see what happens guys I'm doing just about anything to get them things out of here all right guys this is the second half of the day um, it's about 5 30 it's cooled down a little bit we shut it off about two o'clock went and took a break went and got something to eat took care of some uh, business and uh, had to go get some feed and stuff so now we are going back to cleaning up i've got to do a little bit of brush hogging and then when the sun finally goes all the way down we may repair the fence to try to keep them on the back side we'll just see how it works steph is trying to get the uh, baby goat um at Braley, she can't keep her hands away from the baby goat. Uh, she keeps on getting him and bringing him down here. And she, I know she doesn't mean any harm. She just wants to love on him. And um, but we can't do that right now. We want to make sure Mama, Mama is taking really good care of her. And so we're going to get her back up there to the Mama. So hopefully um, there isn't any issues. Don't, doesn't this look a lot better now, guys? It's not so snaky. Um, it's amazing what you can do when you have the right equipment. Um, so, most definitely, uh, you definitely don't have to have a huge tractor. All you just gotta do is have something to get you by just a little bit. And um, that, that tractor right there works just perfect for us. At least mama's This is good cover for them. Mm -hmm. Get the kids and <laughs> stay out of here. I know. I'm going to tell you, I know we had numerous comments about pop bottles, trash, and stuff, but until you've had four kids, you might think about them fingers you're typing with because there's a lot of times we try so hard. It's just, it's hard um you know to stay on top of them but we're they're doing better um as we get out here and they get in a better routine it's going to be awesome so i'll tell you we really lucked out today on the fire <coughs> what she's kind of looking bigger now we know burning it didn't work that ain't no joke. That about caused a mess. All right, let's get up here. And we're going to go ahead and wrap this up for now, and we'll finish up this evening. Um, we're going to go up and do a live. But, guys, thank you all so much for watching. If you're not subscribed, be sure to subscribe. Also, go and check out our membership and look at some of the behind-the-scenes uh, videos. I think you absolutely love them. So, hope each and every one of you all have a blessed day.